My name is Nia Lawson. I am the owner of Tough Rugs ATL and I am a tufting artist. What is rug tufting? Tufting would basically be the art of weaving yarn through a fabric um, to create a rug binding. So it was around like quarantine time. I think that's when it was blowing up on TikTok and then I actually went to a class with my best friend and she was like, I'm gonna surprise you and we're gonna do this. And then I was like, what is this? And then we tried it and I killed it, I'm not gonna lie. But I, I remembered the experience and then I just went on Amazon, got everything and then got started. Started making rugs from there. Well, the style I would like to go for is a clean cut type of rug. Um, so that's more modern and traditional. Um, sometimes, like I mentioned before, um, I'll go outside of the lines and I'll create something a little bit more bold, maybe three-dimensional, not as flat, um, and I'll play with like beveling effects and different um, carving techniques. But for the most part, I like to enhance like more like a modern space um, to add to just like the aesthetic nowadays, if that makes sense. So the very beginning, um, you basically put up your canvas, um, grab the projector, and then you'll be tracing. Um, the next step would be to grab your gun, apply the yarn into the gun, and then you're gonna actually start the weaving process. So the tufting gun is basically um, an electrical weaving machine. And so instead of the manual loop pile with your hand, it's kind of like a weaving method. It's just like a machine gun, basically. So you're speeding up the process about five times as fast. Um, once you're done with the tufting process, um, then that is when you take the adhesive. It can be latex or it can be the regular traditional carpet adhesive um, in a hardware store. Then you take that, cure the rug, and then from there, you're gonna go ahead and back it which creates the actual backing where you can lay it down without any adhesive um, secreting from the ends. And then from there, you can go ahead and finish it. Now some people, they finish it just flattening it, no carving, and what I mean by carving, embellishing like the details of the rug, so that's the carving and the beveling of the, um, the actual acrylic yarn or wool. Um, from there, it's pretty much done, and you pack it up and give it to your customer, or you keep it for yourself. For my inspiration, I pretty much look at other artists in different art forms. So for example, I'm a tufter, but I wouldn't look at other tufters, if that makes sense. Um, what I would look at is maybe a polymer clay artist or an oil painter or a car mechanic. Sometimes I take inspiration from just creating manually from your hands. I think artists are dancers. They're, they're, it's engineering, it's analytical people, anything that creates from the brain, I take inspiration from it. I was like, wow, you drew that and came up with this. So I take inspiration from anywhere outside of like my field. I'm, I'm a perfectionist naturally, so I want to keep mastering my craft. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. Um, when it comes to tufting, the first thing I would like to do is, you know, get my lines together. And then the next step, I wanna make sure that my carving is together. So I make sure that I'm the best in the city. So there's different facets of just tufting in general. So what I do, I also teach classes um, just to incorporate within everything, um, I feel like I can express my creativity in every facet. So when I come up with different class themes, 
is a tribute to my childhood. Um, when I think of, you know, just executing ideas, the taking advantage of the opportunity when I wanted this creative space, because every artist wants a space where they can curate and live off of their creativity, point blank period. So just kind of honoring myself when I was younger and I was like, oh, I wish I had the money to, you know, get those materials. Or I wish I had the time or the opportunity to act on these creative um, ideas or urges. Um, so I just kind of take it and run with it. If that's something I want to do, I'm going to go for it just because I didn't have the opportunity in the beginning. Um, growing up, just looking back at where I was, I always wanted, like my grandma would tell you, I used to write in my journal, I'm going to have a shop that's like sells all kind of art. Like she had this little piece of paper that I wrote and it was basically like, I'm going to own a store that's like, it's called Nia's Art. Um, and uh, technically, that's what Tough Rugs ATL is, you know, it's kind of like a full circle moment. Um, I never knew exactly what I was going to be doing. Like I mentioned before, I've done sewing, painting, ceramics, everything, graphic design, photography, developing film, everything. So I never knew exactly what it was going to be. But when it came to tufting, again, that was the only thing that stuck out. It was just the thing that people wanted. And also, I could keep creating and leveling up. It never got boring. It's been fun. This is Nia from Tough Rags ATL. You don't gotta go home, but you gotta get the hell out of here.